sisters and brothers good morning, morning father. father this mass is offered for all souls in purgatory by sharon and family and also for intentional lakshmi for a marriage and for a job intentional lakshmi from deliverance from all the evil mothers conversion and also thanksgiving to almighty god on the birthday of johnson by jude wasanti and family thanksgiving and also intention for spiritual growth and health of bennett jude by jude and wasanti and family let us begin the celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray. For for me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with the unceasing kindness. That for those who Hananiah, the son of Azar, the prophet from Gibeon, spoke to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord of ghosts, the God of Israel, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon within two years. I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried to Babylon. I will also bring back to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles from Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to Hananiah the prophet in the presence of the priest and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord make the words which you have prophesied come true and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles. It hear now this word which I speak into your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. 
the prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophecies war famine and pestilence against many countries and great kingdoms as for the prophet who prophesies peace when the word of that prophet comes to pass then it will be known that the lord has truly sent the prophet then the prophet hanania took the yoke bars from the neck of jermaya the prophet and broke them and hanania spoke in the presence of all the people saying thus says the lord even so will i break the yoke of nebuchadnezzar king of babylon from the neck of all the nations within 2 years but jermaya the prophet went his way sometime after the prophet hanania had broken the yoke bars from off the neck of jermaya the prophet the word of the lord came to jermaya go tell hanania thus says the lord you have broken wooden bars but i will make in their place of bars of iron for thus says the lord of ghosts the god of israel i have put upon the neck of all these nations and iron yoke of servitude to nebuchadnezzar king of babylon and they shall serve him for i have given to him even the beasts of the field and jermaya the prophet said to the prophet hanania listen hanania the lord has not sent you and you have made this people trust in a lie therefore thus says the lord behold i will remove you from the face of the earth this very year you shall die because you have uttered rebellion against the lord in that same year in the seventh month the prophet hananiah died the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god responsorial psalm teach me your statutes o lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes, statutes o lord, lord. from the way of falsehood grant me mercy by your law response teach, teach me your statutes o lord. lord never take the word of truth from my mouth for i hope in your decrees response teach, teach me your statutes o lord. lord let those who fear you turn to me that they may know your decrees response teach, teach me your statutes o lord let my heart be blameless in your statutes that i may not be put to shame response teach, teach me your statutes o lord though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me yet i ponder your decrees response teach, teach me your statutes o lord i have not turned away from your decrees you yourself have taught me response teach, teach me your statutes o lord kindly rise for the gospel acclamation god has spoken to his people hallelujah and his words are words of wisdom hallelujah man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god god, god has spoken to his people hallelujah and his words are words of wisdom
The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the crowd ate and was satisfied, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat, go before him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowds, after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up into the hill by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was many furlongs distance from the land, beaten by the waves. For the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water, came to Jesus. When he saw the wind, he was afraid. Beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O oh, you are little faith, why did you doubt? And when they had got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land of Genezareth. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent round to all the region, and brought to him all that were sick, and begged him they might only touch the fringe of his garment, as many as touched it were made well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today's Gospel we see the continuation of yesterday's Gospel, multiplication of the loaves. And even today, the same Gospel, the multiplication of loaves, and along with the continuation, after the multiplication, what Jesus does. He sends back all the crowd and he comes with the disciples. He spends time in prayer. That's the reason we see today there are two Gospels have been given to us to select either only after the multiplication or along with the multiplication, the continuity of Jesus being with the apostles. So we prefer to take the continuation after the multiplication of the loaves. It's very important and beautiful passage. Gospel of Matthew chapter 14 as well as chapter 15. So my dear sisters and brothers, before we reflect on the passage of Gospel of Matthew 14 and 15, it's very important for us to reflect on today's first reading taken from Jeremiah chapter 28. Today, chapter 28 verses 1 onwards speaks authentic word of God, what's happening today. My dear sisters and brothers, you might have seen two characters in this. One is King Zedekiah, the last reigning king of Judah. Along with him, the entire Judaism goes off. Babylon caves come there, they conquer them, take control of gold. Because God said to Zedekiah, Prophet Jeremiah, come and repent whatever God is telling you, you do that. Then you will be saved, the Judah will be spared, whatever I promised to David. He didn't obey and he becomes the last king and puts him there in the Babylon exile. He has been killed. That is the end, the chapter closed of Israelites till Jesus come to the world. Second thing, the second character we see, very important, dangerous, useless fellow, Anania the prophet. The one who misleads people everywhere, Satan takes control of him false prophet. Anania is a great example for it. The third character is prophet Jeremiah. The first character we see Zedekiah as I said the last king. Sin, 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 so much of sin. 
didn't even obey to God, didn't even listen to the prophets. It was always his heart desire. He wants what his heart wants, the prophet has to say, makes him happy, he wants to live, but become a deaf ear to God. So God uses prophet Jeremiah to go and speak. In between, Satan uses Ananiah, the false prophets, the evil man. My dear sisters and brothers, there is no anything we call criticism against church, against any prophets, against man of God. But very important for us to make a note, never ever give a false prophecy. In the name of human being, in the name of God, pleasing any evil, pleasing any money, pleasure, anything of this world. We have to face the consequence. Today you should have seen how Anania was killed by God himself because of false prophecy. One example, I don't want to point anything. The Christian so-called the prayerful warriors. What did they say in 2019 December about 2020 in the world? What prophecy they gave in the December, we all the Catholic flocked behind them, listening whatever they're going to predict about the future of 2020. Anything came true? Nothing. Now where are those prophets? Where are those foretellers who are said in TVs, in prayer channels, 2020 will be a blessing, this, that, something will come, something blessing will happen. Where are we? Where are their faces? Where are the recorded materials? This is called false prophecy. You should be very careful and they cannot escape from the punishment of God. Not only they, even we. Very careful where the word of God cannot be misused. The word of God cannot be misled anybody and using the exploitation of this world. So today should we have the fear of God before uttering behalf of God on God's name anything. That's what the Ten Commandments we see do not take the name of the Lord God in vain. Don't use God's name in vain. For the sake of blessing don't bless anybody. By looking at a person is a filthy, evil fellow, since he's so powerful, so he looks so beautiful, can't even say a blessing for them as he comes in your mouth. Because God uses our mouth and tongue. And also Satan uses our mouth and tongue. You should be careful, like Anania. So my dear sisters and brothers, this is the first point, we should make a note of it. And Prophet Jeremiah, in return, he says to him, For all that whatever you said, false, you will be a punished person. And he removes the yoke of Jeremiah, breaks it up. God gets wild. And God says, whatever you remove from Jeremiah, I'll make it double, make an iron yoke on you, and I will destroy you. Sometimes it's frightening for us to listen. We should be careful when we utter the word of God. Or it's better to remain silent. Second part is very nice to hear about Jesus. After multiplication, Jesus goes back. His energy, everything is given to the people in the form of a food. To gain back energy, he goes for prayer. Every time, morning and evening, afternoon, every time he spends in prayer, as we recharge our mobile, we need to recharge ourselves, not only for our stomach, not only for our heart to have our joy and happiness, even for our soul. Always need recharge. That is what, spend time in prayer, not just screaming and shouting. Prayer means listening to God, speaking to God. That is what God wants it. So we are blessed to have such a beautiful Eucharist and Holy Sacrament and Blessed Sacrament to spend our time, listen to God, speak to God and recharge our spiritual life. That is what Jesus says, the first point here. The second thing, Jesus goes to rescue his apostles when they are in trouble. When they are in trouble, he goes to rescue them. But what happened to the apostle? They didn't identify Jesus. They saw him as a ghost. And when we do that, when God comes in different ways for us through problems, through crisis, and puts and takes us out, that time you think God is evil for us. We don't identify God. That's what first thing is very important, prayer. Prayer is very important. Prayer will give us strength to identify God. And later, Peter identifies God apostles. Again, once again, the mystic happens for us. Peter says, God, so much excited, he looks at God, even I want to walk on the water. 
My dear sisters and brothers, remember this. When we ask God, God will not say no to us. But we should know what are we asking to God. Whatever we are asking to God, we are worthy enough and we are ready to do this. Peter, and excited, I said, I also walk in the water. Started walking in the water. The moment he saw the wind and all those things, he started sinking inside the water. What happens to us? Even we also ask for the big, big things. This, that, everything we ask, God also gives us. But we become incapable to hold that. Started complaining to God. Today we need to reflect on this passage, very specially Gospel of Matthew chapter 15. We should look at God, I ask this, give me the strength and grace to follow you. Not like Peter suddenly getting sing and Jesus would look at it and say, you man, women of little faith, let us be not like that, have a little faith in God. Multiply the faith in us, have a strong faith in God, whatever you take it. But looking at the situation around us, looking at the people, don't get frightened. Because the one who has called you is greater than him or her. The one who is holding you is very powerful. So Jesus said, hold on to my hand, come up, he says. So let us not divert our eyes, our concentration somewhere else. Once you started holding Jesus, started holding Jesus' eyes, keep on looking at him. Don't get distracted, don't get tempted, don't get lose yourself looking at all these evils, all these fantasy things around us. So this is very important. Concentrate on Jesus. We will not fall. We will not sink. Today the passage is giving all the strength for all of us. Look up to God. Like Prophet Jeremiah was looking up to God. Look up to God alone. And He will take care of everything. Whatever may be in a problem in your family. Don't look at the money what you have. Don't look at the friends whom you have. Don't look at the person who said, trust me. Trust in the Lord and you will not fall. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of a human hand, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your at hands your for the praise and, and glory of, of his name, name for, for our good, good and, and good, good of all his holy church. church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation, the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. As with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
At the time, it was betrayed and entering in dispassion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, a Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all our departed brothers, sisters, parents and friends. May God grant them eternal bliss. Very especially we pray for departed souls, the souls in purgatory of our Sharon and family. We offer all the departed ones in our families and community, very especially the religious fathers, religious sisters, as we remember all the religious for Reverend Father A.S. Anthony Sami, Reverend Father Abraham, Abraham Giriraju, we remember Reverend Father Abraham, we remember all the Archdiocesan priests who are passed away from this world. Also remember the soul of George Victoria and all the departed ones from this parish and the community. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on all the families gathered here, those who ask us to pray to whom you promise our prayers. We pray for all our Brothers and sisters who are hospitalized, who are under fear, threat, Lord, give us the grace to look at you and deliver us from all kinds of worries, crisis, death, and evil and sickness. Very especially we pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and deliverance from all evil and all our intentions. We also very especially we pray those who offer a thanksgiving to you. Very especially you celebrating birthday, Johnson, grant him a good health, fill him with your Holy Spirit and bless his family. We also pray for the benefit of Bennett Jude for good health and growth and also for intention of Jude Vasanthi family and all the families those who are offered, those who are part of this Holy Eucharist through the live channels and the participating in the Mass. And all who died in mercy, welcome the light of His. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Anthony, St. Francis, Xavier. We are pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be go here, sit in our life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious 
especially grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus. As Peter looked at Jesus, get distracted. Let us not be like that. Let us look up to him, concentrate on him, and he will never let us down. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe right in our life. Amen. of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you in into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen Tomorrow is the feast of John Maria Vianney, the patron saint for all the priests, especially for the parish priest and for the bishops. 
kindly remember tomorrow all your priests and your parish priests and our archdiocese priests very specially those are working in archdiocese of bangalore including our emirate bishops You have given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, endured with all delight and sweetness in every taste. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Anthony. O, o loving Saint, Saint Anthony, Anthony, you were a special witness of God's power and, and loving imitator of Jesus, who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor, we lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father and the Son and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord. Hold my hand and guide me on my way. 